I know what you're gonna say. Why'd you move the satellite transponders? Do I need to ask the question again? It's not that big a deal. Are you joking? Because even if you are, it isn't funny. What you did is a federal crime. So give me a little help here, Bill. Can you explain to me what the hell you were doing? Those antennas were pointed in the wrong direction. Okay, here's a month's worth of research on the Artemis belt. All right, look. Now we know those meteors are headed towards Earth. But up until now, we've been blind as to when and where. All right, it's all right here, just look. Shit, just Bill. Leaving everything else aside, which we can't. Are you out of your mind? You know the US government monitors those goddamn satellites. The NSSD's already called me three times this morning. They're sending someone out right now. And you want me to come at them with New Mexico is gonna be destroyed by a meteor? That is the truth. It's called an impact winner. If you would just look. Even if that's true, don't you think they would be first in line to know about it? Not you. Not if they're looking in the wrong direction. Okay, I'm sorry, look. Maybe this is a good thing. Is that another joke? Are you a stand-up comic now? But you suck at being funny. It's an opportunity at an audience, okay? Someone at the national level needs to listen to this. We're talking drastic decreases in global temperature, mass extinctions upon countless species, including ours. He's here. Shit, he's here. I haven't had to wear a fucking tie since 9-11. Hey, I just need five minutes, please. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna wait inside. When our conversation ends, you better hope you're not taken out of here in handcuffs. So? Leave your badge with Brenda. Take a long vacation. I don't understand. You don't understand. I saved your ass from going to jail. Think of this as a uh, early retirement. Enjoy the mountains. What about my research? What about Artemis? If we're faced with an impact winner- Oh, your fucking voice. Impact winner. We're talking total global freeze. The dust and the debris from the impact are gonna block out the sun's radiation. It's gonna make it impossible to heat up the atmosphere. You're still here? Listen, Bill. You ever heard the expression, quit while you're ahead? Do me a favor and just do what I ask. Ungrateful prick. Has anyone seen Haley? Haley, your niece? I haven't seen her since the bouquet toss. I don't want her to miss the finale. I know where she is. Last time I saw her, she was in the bathroom arguing with somebody on her cell phone. Um, she said something about a meteor. A meteor? Yes. Seriously? She said something about a meteor. Listen, do not worry. Today is your day. I will go find Haley. Thank you. God, that's weird, huh? Jeez. Chad, you're being a little bit paranoid. What's that noise? I told you, I'm in Vegas right in Nicole's wedding. Vegas? Haley, listen to me. In 15 hours, a meteor's gonna hit, and you're not safe in Nevada. Dad, you know, 
I don't have time to argue with you. I'm leaving the office. Meet me at the cabin as soon as you can. Haley? Yeah, sure. All right. I'll be there. Hey. What? What is it? What happened? You forgot. I didn't forget. I just figured with work and the images we have to analyze that, uh, you know, maybe we could celebrate the anniversary this weekend. What? <laughs> I'll get changed right now. Our anniversary is next month. I know that. Haley, she didn't get into Stanford. Oh. Stanford was a reach anyway, so. She really wanted this. God. She wanted to go to the same school you graduated from. You know that. God, you didn't even call to ask if the letter came in. What? I lost track of time. UNLV. Seton Hall is still a good choice. Great backup. Right. Kel, this Artemis thing? Changed my life. Our lives. And if I'm right on this, I'll have Ken's desk by the holidays. Oh my gosh, she doesn't care about Ken's desk, Bill. Good lord. And you know what? As a matter of fact, neither do I. God, you've been just. You have spent half of your daughter's senior year just making empty promises to the both of us. How long do you expect us to sit by and just accept it? What are you saying? Are you leaving me? <laughs> I, I don't know.
What I do know is that she'll blame you for the split. You know? And then she'll resent both of us for whatever happens after that. I'll make time for this. We're not going to get a divorce. Here. What's that? Call your daughter. Okay? She, she needs to know you still give a shit. Late. Yeah, I called the office to let you know I was running late. Ken Hollis said your phone was off? You called Ken? Yeah, there's too much shit going on for your phone to be off. Here's footage of White Sands this morning, which is part of the Chihuahuan Desert, and is mostly uninhabited. You can see the catastrophic devastation of a meteor hit. Again, this is... Nothing to be concerned about, but authorities will keep us informed on if anything else happens this morning. Just incredible footage of a meteor striking. They've been playing it over and over all morning. I didn't know who else to call. Where was this? An hour north of White Sands. What's wrong? White Sands? Yeah, the Chihuahuan Desert. Why? It's huh. exactly where I said the first impact would hit. Nothing's out there. No one was injured. Yeah, I know that, Haley, but this is just the beginning. There are going to be more meteors and more impacts. And they're going to be closer to more densely populated areas. Well, shouldn't you get back to the office? Maybe tell someone about this? What did you do? I got fired. Fired? I did my best to warn everybody what was going to happen, but they let me go. Three weeks before tuition is due? We got more pressing issues at hand, Haley. Like what? Like me not going to college next semester problems? Like no one going to college ever. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? I need to warn people, a lot of people all at once. If that final wave hits the mountain range, we're in deep shit. You can't just put that kind of thing up on YouTube and expect millions of people to take you seriously. No. That's a good idea. That's exactly what we're going to do. What? Dad, no. It was an asteroid. Meteor. Okay, fine. It was a small meteor that landed in the middle of an empty desert. Don't you think you're making a mountain out of a molehill? You are not listening to me. I need to tell people to evacuate the city. If I'm right, Albuquerque is next, followed by the mountains. Okay, well, do what you need to do, but you're going to have to find somewhere else to go all ballistic doomsday this weekend. Well, why? What's wrong with here? You don't remember? Lucas came up here with me this weekend before he leaves for Aspen. Oh, Lucas, you had to make a stop. He's in the car, and before you say, I never told you about this, I can show you the text messages. But Lucas. That's my name, don't wear it out. Lucas, what a pleasant surprise. Be nice. Why don't you put the bags in the guest room for us? You got it, babe. Oh, and Mr. Z, Haley told me all about your job. Man, awesome. I would hate to lose something like that. Like I said, I can show you the text messages. All right. I have to go, but I'll be back. All right, do me a favor. Promise me you'll stay put. Stay inside. Lucas can go out if he wants to, though. What? Why him? Uh, because I think he's a loser, and I don't care what happens to him. I'll be back.
Hope it's not an important phone call. Hang it up, Ken. Mr. Zito, I told you that you cannot be in here. Now don't you believe me? What do you think's gonna happen next? Do you want people right. to die, Ken? I'll, I'll call you back. What the hell are you doing here? I'm gonna call the police. Do you want me to call the police? No, thank you, Brenda. It'll be fine. You know I can have you thrown in jail just for calling up here. You have to leave, like, now. 12 hours from now, Ken. Two more strikes. One in Albuquerque, the one after that in the snow caps. I don't even tell you what kind of damage that's gonna do. What do you want me to do, Bill? Evacuate the city. Evacuate the city? Are you nuts? I don't have the authority to do that. You worked here for six years. Don't tell me you already forgot how we paid the rent. Your name is gonna be all over the headlines as a guy who had this information and turned a blind eye to it. Information? This shit is far from confirmed. My data is accurate. We just listen to what I'm telling you, Ken. Your son, your son, he's a sophomore up in Carrington, right? What's your point? And be real fucking careful what you say next. Evacuate the city. Can't evacuate the city. Oh, wasting my fucking time. morning. You didn't come back last night. I did. It was late. I didn't want to wake you. Well, did you get anyone's attention? Not really. Well, maybe you're wrong about this one. Fingers crossed. You're really worried about this, aren't you? I tracked Artemis for six years. Where's Lucas? See this. Early reports say authorities are urging individuals within a 90 mile radius of the city of Albuquerque to stay indoors and be with their families. Stay tuned for more breaking news as it comes. We'll be here detailing the meteor attack on Albuquerque, New Mexico. Should I call someone? Have any number of Give me Zito. Now. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Yeah, I can be there in two hours. I'm on my way. What's going on? Lab has been destroyed. Artemis is getting closer. I gotta go into town. Right now? It doesn't look safe to head into the city. I don't have time to argue with you about this, okay? The next round of impacts are gonna be much worse. Well, you can't just leave me here alone. Well, you have Lucas. Wait, God damn it, where'd you say he was? Lucas! 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 Shit. What's wrong? Phone isn't working. Something's up. Go back to the house, check it out, see if he's there. Lucas! The hell are you, dipshit?
Anything? Pound phone lines are out at the house. No sign of Lucas? Nothing. Dad, what are we gonna do? How important is this kid to you? Dad, I love him. Let me get my rifle. He's only been gone a couple hours. He couldn't have gotten too far on foot. Especially if he has no idea where he's going. I'm thinking we want to patrol here or here. Either one's a hike, so we need to get moving. We're running out of time. I'm running out of time before what? Artemis. More strikes. Won't be safe out in the open. And my predictions are correct. The animals in this area are going to get very confused and very angry, so Lucas isn't safe either way. we got about... Eight hours till the real fun starts. So we stick together and find them as quickly as possible. Yes? No wandering off. All right. As time goes by, we won't have any idea what's happening out there. So stay close. Understood? Say it loud so I know you hear me. Yes, I understand. We stick together at all times. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, 
Mushroom. Is it, is it Lucas? It's a wolf. It's close by. We need to find your boy. Come on. Come on. What is it? It's been an hour since we left. That sun's gonna go down soon. So? Well, kiddo, I know you're infatuated with this kid, but at some point. That's not happening. It won't be safe for us once that sun goes down. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what, we just leave Lucas here to die because you're too chicken shit to be outside when it gets dark? That's not what I meant. He could be lost. He could be dead. What do you see in this kid, anyway? He's kind to me. All the doctor's appointments, all the therapy, and... Lucas was a cure all along, who would have thought? Mom liked him. She said he made her think of you when you two first met. You met your mother? Thanksgiving. A week before she left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 
to stop. Okay. You're mad. You always clam up when you get mad. What is it? We can't go on walking in silence like this, so whatever you have to say, say it! Go on. I took him to see your mother. Here we go. That's something you do when you're engaged. You're not engaged, are you? No, but what if I was? That isn't your decision. And just so you know, Mom was fine with it. She thought he was a perfect gentleman. Don't. So whatever problems you have with Lucas, get over it, Dad. It's my life. I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't save Mom's life, and I don't need you to save mine! Is that what you think happened? I just let her go that I allowed that to happen. Well, if you do, I feel very sorry for you. I wasn't there as so I couldn't bring myself to see it. Thought it'd be less real somehow. We all know I was wrong. And I'm sorry, kid. Trust me, it's gonna haunt me a lot longer than you. Look. No, you look. I'm going back. I know Lucas is important to you, but millions of people are going to die if I don't help them. Now, I'm not expecting you to understand that, but I'm asking you to try. Now, enough. Let's go. Enough! Lucas? 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 Is that you? Lucas? Thank you.
Hey, Lee! Lucas! at me with that oily Russian smile. He said, what? Plus the wall. Oh. And Ken, Ken is absolutely useless. You know, he might as well come out and say he's on his side. The fact of the matter is, that research isn't his. You can't own facts, you know? You can't put a monopoly on the solar system and what's happening inside of it. Unbelievable. Are you listening to me? Haley went to see a movie with Lucas. Okay. Did you hear what I said about this asshole in the office? Unbelievable. Yes, I, I heard you, but you really need to just stop talking and listen to what I have to say. I asked Haley to leave for the night because, um... But the test came back in from the doctor's office. And, well, I went down there this afternoon. I left you a message. I, I guess Brenda didn't tell you about it. No, of course Brenda didn't tell me about it. What is it? The tumor has metastasized. Metastasized? The cancer has spread to another part of my body. I know what it means, babe. Which part? <laughs> my brain. <laughs> Can they operate? No. The hospital administrator called an hour ago. They can try to remove the lump from my thyroid, but it isn't covered by our medical insurance. No, that's a mistake. We have major medical. You're fully covered. I called the insurance company. They don't consider an elective procedure. This isn't a facelift we're talking about. All right, it's a county hospital. They can't refuse care. I don't want to argue with you. I'm just telling you what they said. If they won't cover the bill, what options do we have? Cash. <laughs> how much? Kel, how much? Three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, the only other option is we can we can just transfer my files to regional. No, absolutely not. Your doctor's a top oncologist in the state. We're not gonna lose him to save money. Okay, then what do we do? Okay? I, Haley starts school in six weeks. She can go to community college. I can't ask her to do that. Why not? You know how many teachers with degrees are working at Walmart by choice because it pays better? She'll understand. She won't understand. Then she'll fucking learn to try. You know, there's one other thing to consider that we do nothing. You know, just make me as comfortable here at home as we can. I think they called it quality of life. <laughs> the doctor thinks that since my brain is considerably beyond the point of corrective surgery, that we should, we should start thinking of, of we should start, start thinking of ways to say goodbye. You know, maybe, maybe take a trip, make it a happy time. You're 
You're not going to die, all right? I'll fix it. No one's saying goodbye. I won't take no for an answer. <sighs> Haley, wake up. Haley! Dad? What's going on? Can you move your arms? Hands, anything? I'm See. stuck. If we can rock our weight back and forth, I think we can scoot over that counter. Can you see it? Are you hurt? I'm fine. I'm bleeding. Me too. Who did this? I don't know. You just do as I say, okay? Okay, ready? Just wanna rock it on three. One, two. <clears throat> Do you know why I am here? Interesting research. So tell me what you want. You know what I want. You really don't remember who I am, do you? Liar. Dad? Quiet, Haley. Huh. Haley. You know I had a daughter once. She was not much younger than you when she was killed. Did you know in my country you would be considered old enough to marry? Tell me what you want! Talk to me! Artemis. That's what it was, yes? The news was showing the initial onslaught, yes? Yes, Artemis was a mean. I know what Artemis is. And not because I just read six years of your research while you were tied to a fucking chair. I know you. I knew what Artemis was even before you came to work at the CSR. Dad, what the hell is he talking about? Your father must be getting old to have lost his memory at such a young age. You know this guy? Do you want to tell the girl, or would you like me to? Yeah, I know. He's just a former disgruntled employee. Yeah? Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> disgruntled? You stole my life's work! You ruined me! Dad, what's going on? You're scaring me. Don't listen to him. He's full of shit. Always has been. Your father is a thief and a liar. He stole my life's research on Artemis and pissed it off as his own. He's lying. Call me a fucking liar again and I'll peel the flesh from her face. All right, Dad. all right. Let her go, we talk, huh? We talk. Tell me what you want. I want what you stole from me. I want what's mine. Jesus. Jesus has nothing to do with this. Don't you think it's a little late for all that? Uh, millions of people are gonna die. We are gonna die! Then we will all die knowing that I am the man who discovered Artemis, not you! How? There is a telecommunications station two hours from here. We make the call from there. No power. The station runs off of gasoline generators. We live soon, before the sun goes down. And you know this how, you've been there? <laughs> Your lack of faith in me is insulting. Well, what if I refuse, huh? What if I say, fuck it, we're all gonna die anyway? Why should you 
me the satisfaction. Because if you refuse, I will kill Lucas. No. No. Fucking movie. Go. Is he even still alive? That depends. On what? Don't waste your time. The man's a psychopath. Look what he's done. It depends on how often you insist on stopping to ask if he's still alive. I have a right to know. He's alive for now. The more time we waste, the less I can guarantee you'll still find him that way. Haley. Haley! No stopping. We need a break. We need water. Keep moving. I said we need a break. 30 minutes. You heard her. Half an hour. He's your friend. What you do at the time he has left is up to you. Does it hurt? I'm all right. Do you think he's telling the truth? I oh, don't understand, kid. I was trying to make a name for myself when your mother got ill. We didn't have any money for medical, hospital bills. I was scared and I fucked up. I just have to live with that. And I have lived with it, so I could watch you grow up. I always thought I could save. Dad, you were always trying to save the world. I always thought I could try to save your mother. What about Lucas? Oh, kid. Pretty far out. If we don't find him soon, it doesn't look good. I understand why you did what you did. I love Lucas. And if there's any chance that he's still alive and breathing out here, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to save him. All right. Keep moving! No more breaks. Your friend's life depends on it. Go! Go!
No more fucking breaks. Keep moving. Go! Move! Go! Stop. I need to take a leak. I we can get that gun away from him. Why would we do that? I thought we were going to make the call first. Yeah, what if we make the call and he doesn't tell us where he is? There's two of us and one him. I don't know. If we try and we don't get the gun and he kills one of us, then we don't get to Lucas and... This was all for nothing. Yeah, but the call will be pointless if there's no one on the other end to answer it. You understand? Stop! What is it now? I hear you whispering, planning something. Is that a question? Don't fucking fuck with me! We were just talking about Lucas. What about him? We need some assurance he's alive. We make the call, I give you the coordinates. How far away is he from the comm building? No more questions! Move! No bullshit. I need you to be straight with us here. You want straight? I only need you for this. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> wouldn't I? Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Where's the boy? Please. You win. <laughs> Lennox! Lennox! What's wrong? <laughs> Frank called. Trust papers will be here in the morning. <sighs> like we discussed. Yeah. You'll need to sign. You up to it? Well, it still works. <laughs> There's a conference in Santa Fe. I told Ken to go on without me. You should go. I'll make it through the weekend. I know that. But it's done, I'm staying. Bill, you don't have to be okay with this. I'll never be okay with this.
Hey, can I ask you a question? Uh, this thing with the Russian at work. What about it? <laughs> you already know this, but if your actions in this life don't live up to who you are, then you really haven't done anything. You know that thinking you're doing the right thing and actually doing it are two different things. You need rest. You can't marry again, you know. I'll haunt your dreams if you do. <laughs> I believe you. mean what you said back there? You said that we were all gonna die. Haley. Don't do that. Don't waltz around me like I'm ten years old. Just answer the question. No one survives Impact Winter. No one. Then what's the point? Lucas is dead. We don't know that. Uh, let's go to the comm building. Radio out, see if there's any help out there. Anybody can help us look for him. But what if it's like you said? What if no one's there to answer? I'm trying my best to stay on top of the situation. All right? We're almost there, sweetheart. Let's keep moving. I only blamed you because I needed to believe that someone killed her and not some stupid disease. It was wrong for me to hold you responsible for that. I'm so sorry. I know you loved her as much as I did. I don't care. Let's keep moving. Come on, go, go, go!
is this place? It's an old weather center. There's nothing here. There's gotta be a radio. Find something. I found it. Somebody please come in. Is there anybody there? Is there anybody reading me over? You're right. There's nothing here. No, I don't understand. No, wait. I don't understand. It's a goddamn fallout shelter. Why did he lead us here? Dad. <laughs> Funny, why did he lead us here? You win. You win? As he lay there dying, he whispered, you win. You win, what does that even you mean? Win. He knew this was the only place you could survive what's happening out there. He was gonna ride it out down here. We beat him to it. Stay right behind me. Stay close. What do you think's going on out there? God only knows. Hey! Move! Oh! No, 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 it's me! Your life! Oh, oh my god, I knew you were oh, alive! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Oh my god! Ow. Your leg! Oh. What happened? It's nothing. I tripped, but the Russian guy, he patched me up. Hey, Mr. Z. Bitch and gun. The Russian? Croatian, Russian, I don't know. That part of the world just bleeds together. How'd you get in here? Lennox brought me here. After he patched me up, he said he was going down the hill to look for you. Strange guy, if you ask me. Really cool accent, though. Any idea if we can use any of this stuff? I got only a little bit of it working off what little battery power we have. The radio is a little spotty, but the PC can run Morse code if we need it to. Morse code? In DOS, yeah. You know Morse code? Yeah. Eagle Scouts. Oh, Lucas, you're just full of surprises. My guess is no one answered back, huh? Nothing yet, but I found a freezer full of food. We can wait it out. Food and water? For at least six months, yeah. There's three of us. I'll tell you what, Lucas. Let's get something to eat first, and then we'll start on these messages. Wait, wait, wait. To who? Anybody who'll listen. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd you end up logging into the mainframe? Oh, easy. I just figured out the cipher. Cipher, huh? How? Easy. Okay. A model alphabetic subcipher maps individual letters to plain text, right? So everything's on a one-to-one -one basis, as in every instance of plain text, there's a matching cipher letter for it. Kid stuff. Okay. So see this plain text here and here? All I had to do to encipher the firewall was just to create a shift map. Entered as a password, I'm in. Jesus, Lucas, English. Sorry, okay, I took every instance of plain text, matched it to a cipher letter from a table I created. Like I said, candy from a baby. How'd you know how to do that? Oh, the internet. Oh, you read about it on the internet. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's really interesting. Makes sense. First cipher was for what, Julius Caesar? It was just simple shift mapping, but it was still complex for its time. Okay, so what's the password? It's a weird one. Zephyr. 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 Like the skateboard. We went to the warp tour that one time. Lucas, I may have seriously underestimated you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too.
about the whole end of the world thing and your job, college, but none of that matters now because, well, Artemis sent Earth into an impact winter, just as Linux predicted. In just seven hours after the tops of the mountains were struck, the surface temperature fell 30 degrees, never returning above freezing again. We were never supposed to prevent Artemis from destroying our planet. We were only meant to survive it. Testing, testing. Okay. Um. News? No, uh, small blips on the radar. Nothing to brag about. Transmissions? <laughs> Same as yesterday. You see anything out there? Uh, I took about halfway down the basin. Sun's starting to peek through. Couple more weeks, we could get lucky. Food's running low. There's enough for three. Four. I thought you were checking the tower antennas. I was, but Lucas insisted he do it. Really? <laughs> it's a lot of stress climbing up that far. Stress? What the hell is going on? Either one of you can answer me. I'm, I'm pregnant. pregnant. Sorry, no, uh, she's pregnant, not me. I'm the one that did the impregnating and oh. all that fun stuff. Oh, I got that. Stuff. Sorry. Thanks, Lucas. Well, what do you think? You're gonna be a grandpa. I don't know why that sounds so strange. Man, we thought you'd be mad. But are there, Dad? Too soon. Yeah, yeah, it's too, my fault. Lucas, please. My only concern is medical supplies. What if you go into labor? I am not trained. Sanitary, very much coffee. Sanitary, come in. 